We're continuing on in chapter 10. We're at 10.7a now. We're going to solve a first and second degree system of equations algebraically. If you haven't seen the previous videos for chapter 10 and become lost or confused, just click in the description and you can find out where you left off. Now we've learned to use linear combinations and the substitution method to solve systems of linear equations. We did that back in chapter 4 in videos 4.2a and 4.2b. In solving systems where one equation is of first degree and one is of second degree, using the substitution method is preferable. And it's helpful if we can recognize which conics are represented. The substitution method is the most useful when one of the equations is linear. It's first degree and can be solved for one of the variables without using square roots. So in this case, the substitution method is used exactly as it is for two linear equations but our result will be a second degree equation that can have one, two, or no solutions. So let's take a look at the first system. We can solve this system algebraically. Our first equation is x squared plus y squared equals 25. And our second equation, equation is our linear one. It's 3x minus 4y equals 0. This is a first degree equation because the x is to the first degree. See that? So we solve this linear one first, number two. We solve it for x. We can isolate x by adding a 4y to each side of the equation. That's going to give us 3x equals 4y. To isolate x, we divide both sides by this coefficient 3, and we get x equals 4 thirds y. Now we just substitute that 4 thirds y for x in the first equation and solve for y. So here we had x squared plus y squared equals 25. So we're going to substitute this in its place. We have 4 thirds y squared plus y squared equals 25. Now remember, there's an invisible 1 in front of that y squared. So we've got 16 ninths, when we do our math here, y squared plus y squared equals 25. So if there's an invisible 1 here, that's like a 9 ninths, right? So when we're adding this, we get 25 ninths y squared equals 25. So stick with me. Now, what we're going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal of the coefficient. So the reciprocal of 25 ninths is 9 25 So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by this 9 25 We can cancel out this 25 and this 25, and we can cancel out this 25 and this 25, can't we? So we're going to get a 9 over a 9, which actually can be canceled out as a 1, right? And this is going to give us 9 on this side. So we've got a y squared equals 9. And take that little 2 off, put the radical sign around the 9, and we've got a plus or minus the square root of 9. So y is equal to plus or minus 3. Now we substitute these values into the linear equation number 2. So... What we've got is, in number 2, we've got 3x minus 4y equals 0, and we've got x equals 4 thirds y. And now we've got y equals plus or minus 3. So let's do this plus or minus 3. If it's a plus 3, well, then we get minus 12, don't we? Equals 0. And we can add 12 to each side of this equation to isolate x. Divide by this coefficient, we get x equals 4. If it's a negative 3, then we get 3x minus a negative 12, so we add the opposite. We get 3x plus 12. When we subtract 12 from each side of the equation to isolate x, we get x equals a negative 4. So we have a positive 4 or a negative 4. So the pairs 4, 3, and negative 4, negative 3 check. So there's solutions to the system of equations that contain a first degree and second degree equation. So just remember to solve the linear, that first degree equation, first, okay? We need to do that first, all right? First degree first, okay? Let's try another one. Sometimes an equation won't appear in a familiar form like those we've studied so far in this chapter 10. We can still rely on the substitution method for the solution. So take a look at this system now. This is kind of backwards, isn't it? 
we don't have the 2x up here with the y and now look we've got an xy here so first degree first we're going to solve this first degree equation first we have y plus 3 equals 2x we can add a negative 3 to each side of the equation to isolate y and we get y equals 2x minus 3 now we're going to substitute that 2x minus 3 for the y in the second equation and solve for x. So here was our equation and we're going to substitute 2x minus 3 for that y right there, see? And we're going to distribute here, right? So we're going to get x squared plus 4x squared minus 6x equals a negative 1. We can add a 1 to each side of the equation to set this to equal 0. And when we combine x squared and 4x squared, we get 5x squared, don't we? So now we have 5x squared minus 6x equals a negative 1. We add the 1 to each side of the equation. Now we've got the plus 1 constant here, and it equals 0. Using that principle of zero products we learned back in Chapter 2 in Video 2.1c, there'll be a link to that too, in case you forgot. We can set each one to equal 0. 5x minus 1 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. We can isolate x by adding 1 to each side of this equation, and we get 5x equals 1. We divide each side by this coefficient 5, and we get x equals 1 fifth. Over here, we add 1 to each side, and we get x equals 1. So now, we've got x equals 1 fifth, or x equals 1. Now we substitute these values into the linear equation and solve for y. So we go back to our first equation, y plus 3 equals 2x. And we're going to substitute our 1 fifth and our 1 into here. If it's 1 fifth, we're going to multiply that in place of x. And we're going to get 2 fifths. We can, sub we can add a negative 3 to each side of this equation to isolate y right here and create a 0 pair, right? So we have y equals negative 13 fifths, or we can multiply it by that 1, in case it's 1, and we get a 2. We add a negative 3 to each side, and we get y equals a negative 1. So the pair is 1 fifth and negative 13 fifths, and x is 1, y is negative 1. Check. So the solutions to our system of equations that contain a first degree, that linear equation, and a second degree equation. Just remember, we solved that linear first degree equation first, okay? Now our next video is 10.7b. We're going to solve systems of second degree equations algebraically. I'm going to add this to the Algebra 2 playlist, and there's going to be a link to those 22 previous videos in this video's description. All you have to do is click on them, all right? So I hope this was helpful, and remember, try not to skip any steps so that you have an easier time climbing this algebra ladder. And also remember, I'm on Patreon.com. I'm also on YouTube Fan Funding. If you go to my homepage for Joanne School, you could just donate a dollar to help me out and help my dogs out to feed them with YouTube Fan Funding. I'll see you next video. Bye.